Ladies and gentlemen, we are now open for questions. Microphones are, are around in the crowd. Please feel free to ask your questions. We have Mr. Bajaj on stage with us. Somebody has a question, please go ahead, because I can't, I can't see you, you're in the dark. So, if, you have, if your hand is up, I can't see you, just go ahead and ask me a question. Hello. Anybody has any questions, please raise your hands, and please, uh, the mic will be given to you. Thank you. Ajit, can you hear I guess I can't see you, but I can hear you. I will not talk about demonetization because that is not my business. My business is remotorization and the only way I can do it. I can do it or my company can do it is by inspiring people to pull their money out of their wallet, their ATM, their bank or wherever it is they have stuffed it and bring it to my dealership. So I think with this motorcycle we are doing exactly that. I don't know where you got the price from but now that you have let the cat out of the bag. So presently it's Okay. So that's good. Uh, so I have some idea of what the expected price is, uh, but we'd like to like to say that we fix price based on two criteria as always. One, we have to recognize there's a leader in the marketplace. We can't be very far removed from the price of the leader. At the same time, we have to fix a price that we can afford based on our cost because we have a brand new motorcycle with absolutely cutting edge technology on every component. And we are very pleased as a very special introduction, special introductory offer to start with a price of 1.36 lakhs at Shogun Delhi for this motorcycle. Yeah. Hi, Rajiv Brown here. Uh, just, uh, you know, since Bajaj lays so much of emphasis on brands and brand building, and Eric also pointed out, you know, the key criteria that you look for in a brand, I now want to understand uh, uh, this is your second brand launch per se this, this calendar year. Uh, so you have Platina, to cater to the, you know, to the lower end of the market. You've got Discover, you've got Pulsar, you've got Dominar. Uh, is there room now for another brand above Dominar? It's a good question, Ron, but uh, today it is about Domino, so we'll stay at that. Tomorrow is another day. Things change. Uh, who knows what lies in the future. But for now, let, let me put it like this. Domino enters a segment in the 1 to 2 lakh range, which is already at about 65,000 to 70,000 motorcycles every month. As you know, well, this segment is growing. Our anticipation is that sometime next year, over 2017, this will be a segment of a million motorcycles a year. You know, 85,000 a month in million motorcycles a year. Uh, at an average price of 130, 140,000 rupees a motorcycle, you can quickly do the math on that. It's a segment of almost 15,000 crores. Uh, and my own anticipation is that between the domestic market and of course including exports because as I said previously we are, we are a global motorcycle maker. We expect to clock about 200,000 of the dominar for a given year. So over 15,000 a month. Progressively of course it will take us time to achieve these numbers. So 20% of the segment, which should amount to about 
2,500 crores in revenue. As you can imagine, this is a very profitable motorcycle. It's a big motorcycle uh, and very profitable motorcycle. So I think even in terms of our own performance, and I'm sure that this is true for especially these, these guys who are big dealers from the big towns, this is going to be a very meaningful motorcycle. So I think this is big enough news for today. Uh, we'll call you back next year when, as and when we have something, something else to show. Mr. Bajaj, Mr. Vaz, Karthik here from Zigwheels on your left. Hi. Uh, just a quick question regarding uh, Domina. You said that it is a start of the past future. Is this a family that you see more than just being cruisers and even something like fed bikes coming into this family or is it focused more on uh, everyday uh, users? Well, uh, I don't know if it's a sports cruiser. Different people may see different images or impressions in it. I would just say it's an awesome motorcycle. Uh, once you have a platform, of course you can do more things with that. But I think we have made something which as Eric described puts the best of both worlds together, makes 2 plus 2 more than 4, makes the whole more than the sum of its parts. So as you can see, it's a big motorcycle, but it's also a very nimble motorcycle. It's a very high-tech motorcycle, but it's, I think it's a very affordable value for money motorcycle. It's a beautiful motorcycle, but it's also...